Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. I want to talk to us about a principle I learned many decades ago, and I may have overused it. It's called the layment of gratification. The layment of gratification. I don't even know where I learned this principle. I used to re read tons of business books, success books, Zig Ziglar, all this. I understand that there's parts of those books that are not good, power of positive thinking and all of this, Norman Vincent Peale, Robert Schuller, and the like. But Somehow I got across, I used to read wise sayings from Marcus Aurelius, the Stoics, wise sayings through the history, American wise sayings, Ben Franklin's, Poor Richard's Almanac, you get the drill. And so I ran through this concept and you know, it's not like fasting, but it's like, hey, it is a show of wisdom and will worship and denying the flesh, as Paul mentioned in the book of Colossians. And so the layman of gratification. So like I would always say, I still do this, basically my favorite food to last. I just won't eat it till the very last thing. I start with the worst food and basically I don't eat for taste. I just don't, you can tell that. I eat for sustenance and nutrition, but, and I, <laughs> too much farmer in me from when I was young. We just ate like wild horses. But anyhow, we, uh, the layman of gratification is this process, this concept where you don't just do your favorite things first. Um, and even like seek first kingdom of God and his righteousness, of course, we should rejoice in that. But you shouldn't do those things first before you do anything else with your day. The layman of gratification. Now, when I mentioned maybe I've gone too far with that, there has been times I've let some of my favorite foods go out of date because I'm like, I've got to eat this food that I don't like that's even better for me. Or even if it's not even better for me, it's like, well, I don't like this, so I've got to eat this to deny my flesh so you know I will save my favorite food and so I end up saving my favorite food past the expiration date and so you can take the layman of gratification too far and it's here in the West that we even have to wrestle with this you know 65% either side of the world is just struggling to eat food every day <laughs> And they don't have the choices and the prosperity that so many in the West and opportunities so many in the West have. But, you know, I do that with books. Um, when I go to uh, read a book, you know, I, I'll just read through, go through the heart. Like if there's a book I really want to read, I'm reading three or four books at once. You know, I'll go through, I'll dig through the hard parts of other books before I get to what I want to read. It manifests itself in a ton of areas of life. So I just wanted to throw that out there, not even advocating delayment of uh, uh, gratification. We do need to deny our flesh. We do need to take up our cross daily and serve Jesus and follow Jesus, we don't need to gorge our flesh, which is a danger primarily in the West, but really all parts of the world, depending on the economic strata and even preferring our brethren, even when you're in lack and all of these kind of things. And so, um, but just some pros and cons about it and just kind of felt like I wanted to say that a life lesson that I've learned. So God bless you. We love you. Thanks for being here. Join us daily. Check out our other videos, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.